If you're getting really low FPS in Minecraft, this video will help you because I've asked some of the people about FPS and what they're getting, and some people don't even know that the video settings tab exists and that you can change some of these things. And some of them just have to be changed. Like some some of these video settings that are turned off by default, literally everyone turns on. So yeah, this is gonna get you up to like a hundred more FPS. From that first before video before part, I was getting like a hundred less FPS to two hundred less FPS than I do with my optimizations, that's what I call the my optimizations, it's just a combination of loads of FPS videos I've watched to try and, you know, make my FPS better, and I'm basically just combining them all together. So, almost none of this is my own stuff, it's just stuff that I've watched, but I'm combining it all together for one big video, because why not? For in-game Minecraft settings, some of this is really obvious, so like, GUI scale, don't make it huge, I thought that there was no point even going through this, because it does decrease your FPS, so just have it, don't make it too small, just make it like this, Every, this is the normal. Brightness is set to moody by default, but again, that's forgiven. Set it by bright. Fan graphics fast, just trust me later. The news aren't going to look this trash later. We got smooth lighting to minimum, because off just looks absolutely terrible. But if you're absolutely diehard for FPS, I guess turn it on. But there's a diehard part after this, so yeah, we'll just do that for after. So have it on minimum. Smooth lighting 100. If you have it on zero, you might as well not even have it on. If Anything between, again, you might as well not have it on. So just make that 100 no matter what. Bobbing is your choice. Render distance, no more than 8. If you're really trying to get FPS, max frame rate unlimited. I shouldn't even need to say that. If VBO's on again, shouldn't need to say that. That by itself, all this by itself already, 100 FPS. Walking into this cave, going down already, so much more FPS than I was getting in the taster at the very start. Already, yeah, and there's a lot more coming. And yeah, that's pretty much all you can do here. Dynamic lights off, obviously. Most of the stuff is obvious and turned off by default anyway. So I'm just ignoring the stuff that's turned off by default. Shaders, have them off. Come on. If you Details, clouds, off. Because most people play Minecraft for PvP now anyway, so just have it off. Trees, set trees to fancy. Otherwise, everything looks not smart. Fancy. Otherwise, everything looks awful. Everything around you looks awful and they're on smart. Have tree. It doesn't, do, doesn't tax too much FPS and it just looks nice. Sky off. Sun and moon off. Fog off Tr basically kind of everything off except for some exceptions sorry fast everything fast except for some exceptions dropped items leave them on fancy make them fancy okay and by the way in case you're wondering default basically means whatever this value is so if this is fast default means fast if this is fancy default means fancy that's why i said set it to fast because you can set this by yourself anyway so yeah so everything set everything to default except for dropped items make them fancy Swamp colors off, rain and snow default, stars on for custom skies, show capes on because capes, fog start doesn't matter because fog's off here anyway, tooltips on obviously, entity shadows off, alternate blocks off, smooth biomes off, and that's it for your details. So in animations, you want your Minecraft to look good still. But you do want to get more FPS. So leave water and fire on. Leave redstone on. Leave flame on. Void particles off. Rain splash off. Potion particles on. Train animated off. Firework particles off. Unless you're playing Sky Wars. Then probably turn that on. Lava animated on. Portal animated off. Explosion animated off. Smoke animated off. Water particles. Leave them on. Portal particles. You can turn them off. Because you never see portal particles in Hypixel. Which most of Minecraft plays Hypixel. Let's be honest. That watches my channel at least. Dripping water lava on. Textures animated off. Particles to decreased. Minimal basically just means none. So just make it on decreased because then you won't see any of these particles anyway. In the quality section, map levels minimum. Or off rather, it's called off, never mind. Uh, all of this off. I mean all of this off. Literally just turn everything here off. Except for custom sky. Leave custom sky on. Okay, so while fiddling with a lot of settings in quality, I've noticed that these two options, custom entity models and emissive textures, will quite often crash your game or take ages to turn off when it comes to trying to turn them off, especially on low-end computers because I'm recording and it's crashing, so that's the emulation of a low-spec low computer. So I'd say bite the bullet if it crashes and just turn custom entity models off. I think that's definitely worth it. But emissive textures is basically just torches shining in survival worlds, so you wouldn't just leave that on. It won't make too much of a difference and it's not worth crashing your game multiple times just to try it. But custom with any models, even if it crashes your game, just try it. So I'm going to stop recording, turn that off and then start recording again so I can do it properly. There we go, custom with any models is now off. And again, it's not worth for Mr. Tiffish. I have them on anyway, so just leave them on. It's not worth it whatsoever. Random entities are, it's everything off. 
Again, except for Custom Sky. Leave Custom Sky on. Custom Sky looks nice. Then in performance, except for smooth FPS, turn everything on. Chunk updates to 1. And then just turn everything else on. Just like that. And then for other, if you're die hard on FPS, make it 1280 by 720. This is acceptable, which is why I'm putting it in the look nice part. So if you're really struggling, turn it to this and you still want it to look good. Although if you can make it 1920 by 1080 because that will just look worlds better. That's what I have it as. So yeah, and by the way, after you change this, you will need to unfull screen and refull screen your Minecraft for it to actually take effect. So you can pretty, this is all up to your choice. Since I play Hypixel a lot, I tend to have weather off, full screen you want on, quite obviously. that No one uses that. Doesn't matter what you have this as. Off on if you like advanced tools tips i do personally for survival worlds it shows me like how much du durability you have left in tools time whatever you can have time to change anyway on most clients full screen mode blah auto save six minutes glr is on so you know if something's wrong with your minecraft yeah that's pretty much all you can do in game those are the optimal settings and the settings that i use on a daily basis so without any outside optimizations with those settings alone that's not meant to happen by the way Let's see what could be causing you. It's simple right on. There we go. Just make that perfect. Okay, so with that alone, I'm going to add the background to the FPS border so you can see it more. With that alone, let's see how much FPS we get doing our little test. So as you can see, in certain parts of that test, with absolutely no outside optimizations, we managed to get 200 FPS during the duration of that test. However, we can do a lot, lot better outside of Minecraft while leaving Minecraft looking nice. So let's go do some of that now. Okay, so I'm in the desktop. I have the preview on, just to make sure it's working properly. Um, so yeah, outside your CPU, there's a couple of things you can do. First of all, download part control. I'll leave it in the description. Uh, then open it doesn't always work the first time, so if it doesn't open the first time, just try it again and again, and then it will eventually open. So it's normally it's normally unbalanced. I did set it to balance to try and make this video work, but it just auto-set back to bits and highest performance, which is, I did impossible. So put that on, uh, bits and the dynamic boost, have that enabled, and then just click this so you know if it's Windows is throttling your CPU again, and just leave that off. You don't need that, really, so just leave that off. Yeah, so after you select bits of highest performance, because it will not be bits of highest performance the first time you click it, and make sure you've ticked these two, otherwise it will just go to balance every other time you turn your computer on. You want to click make active, click apply, click OK, and then click OK again. And that's done with part control. That basically just makes your CPU run faster, to put it really simple. Next, you're going to go to Windows, search for task manager, or just task, it comes up most of the time. And then if you go to where uh, Minecraft is, it will be Java, TM, Platform, SE, Binary, or something along those lines. As long as this is Java in it and Binary, then you're good for Minecraft. You go to Go to Details. It will take you to Details tab, or you could just click this. And then find jawow.exe. Does it even say that? JavaW.exe. Right-click it. Click Set Priority. If you're recording, definitely make it normal. Because if you have it as high, you'll get a lot of FPS, but your recording will be stuttery as can possibly be. So if you're recording normal, if not, experiment with this yourself and just see. Never click below normal or low, though, because that will just not go well. Normal or above. Okay, so now you're going to press Windows key, R, and then you're going to type in, I believe I have it already, percent temp percent. Percent temp percent. And this basically just shows you all your temporary files. And basically, you're going to select all of these and then delete them. So if we just do that, this will do absolutely nothing, by the way. And sometimes, if so shift, delete, and then click yes. If this comes up, anything, just file in use. Click do this for all current items, and then skip. They will skip all the items that it just can't delete. So here's a bunch of stuff that it just can't delete, because it's being in Minecraft, which is fine. You need that. You will need that. Do that a lot, because that's not a one-time thing. You do that, like, maybe, like, once a week or so to clean up all temporary files and just, like, make your computer run faster. Go back to Task Manager. 
go to start up and make sure everything is disabled. They all are for me. I couldn't be bothered to turn them all on for the before and after thing. So yeah, just make sure they're all disabled. Um, it says none because they're all disabled. If I enable one, it will say something after I start up. This is basically this is a bunch of stuff that just wastes resources completely. Whilst you're starting up your computer, which makes it takes longer to start up, and then also runs in the background whilst you're doing Minecraft. Like I don't need Skype, Windows Update, and Xbox and phone running while I'm playing Minecraft. So I have them all. I just have everything turned off. And so it shows hidden icons here. Is another thing in Windows. You can click this, and then anything that's not necessary. So I need OBS. I need McAfee. I need Park Control. I need my Wi-Fi, but. Here, a glorious model of software. I don't need that. It's not open. I don't need it. So I can just click exit, and then that will get rid of that. So everything you, anything you don't need, you can just, yeah, just like deactivate. Where I right click, close. Like don't do it for like an antivirus or something. Cause, come on. So with all this, with all this said, let's run our tests. That was really scary. So as you can see, we got significantly more FPS in that test than we got in any of the others. And even above land like this, I can retain a very steady, like way above 60, not dropping below 100 unless I do any sudden movements. So yeah, that's pretty much everything for, like, you know, making stuff look good, but still, like, boost your FPS, I guess. Um, there's some stuff you can do in Lunar Client too, so I'll come to that now. In Lunar Client, if you go to, this is all your choice, whatever you turn on here. If you go to settings, and then go to performance, you can do this whatever you want. I just have it on Scalblock only because I don't play Scalblock. I'm not sure if that'll do anything. Enchantment glint or oh, lazy chunk loading. If yeah, set this to medium because you're trying to make it look good still, and then have these to be off because you just want that off, and then have shadow off too, and have full bright on. I found diamonds. I'm so good at Minecraft. That was an eight vein of diamonds. I am the best Minecraft player ever to exist. Okay, so if you're just trying to get like the most FPS possible, while making your Minecraft look good. You've, you've watched everything you can for this video. There's no point watching this video, you can just leave the video right now. However, if you're absolutely desperate for as much FPS as you possibly can get, carry on watching the video because I can get a lot, lot more FPS whilst making Minecraft look like complete garbage. So let's go and do that now. So again, I've done everything outside already. Outside does not affect the game like looking, so there's nothing more outside, it's just inside settings now. So, fast, off, 0%. Uh, all this stays the same now. You don't change anything else here. If you go to the details, trees, default, basically everything default or off. Everything is default or off. Off, capes on, obviously, because you want to see capes, and this on. Except for that, everything else off. Animations, all off. Quality, make sure everything here is off, including custom sky. In performance, nothing changes here. In other, change it. Let's go for 720p. Why not? And then we're going to refill screen like I said you should do. And I'm going to have to readjust OBS because it's going to look quite weird in OBS, I believe. Uh, yeah, it looks quite weird. So I'm just going to make that bigger. There we go. And then disable the preview again. Um, so yeah, as you can see, 720p. Standing at the front of our test, this is the absolute worst you can make Minecraft look. I can make it look worse, but we're just going to stick with this for now. Also in time changer, make it night time in Lunar Client. You want to be on Lunar Client for the most FPS, it just gets the most FPS. So yeah, make the time night time. I got 593. Um, stand here, and we'll do our test. As you can see, this does not look bad. This looks very decent for the amount of FPS I'm getting compared to, you know, normal quality Minecraft. So yeah, that was our test of 720p. We are also going to look straight into the sky and zoom all the way in. Can we crack a thousand? 
Not quite. However, I want to. So we're going to do that right now. What we're going to do is you should not play like this. Genuinely don't play like this. But if you have an absolute potato that is still getting less than 30 FPS with all of this, make it the lowest it can possibly go, which is 640 by 480. This looks awful, and I can't make it look better. And I'll show you what I mean now. The best I can do in OBS is just move it to the center and then make it slightly bigger so that it like covers up all of this ground but this is basically vintage 1980s tv in color i'm gonna try and make it as centered as i can quickly yeah this is literally vintage 1983 in color right now like this is what this is let's run our test a thousand we've cracked a thousand already So as you can see in that test we cracked out a thousand but we can definitely do better than that so let's go to the sky zoom all the way in we're already getting about 1500 well like, I was getting near 1500 which is quite exciting I'm gonna stop talking because that might actually take away some performance F1 2279 FPS a new record for me actually and then I was on recording so I'm excited to try this off recording and put a screenshot on screen of what FPS I got using this method off recording yeah um, that's crazy the amount the, you know, the amount of strings you and I just lost my pole so I'm glad I did all my tests like the amount of strings you can pull with this game are insane like I've I've gone from with every nothing costing did none of the nothing I have done has costed any money it's costed some game looks, to some to say the least, but I've cracked like over 2,000 FPS on recording on my remember pretty not good PC, um, uh, laptop. Uh, like my CPU is a very good CPU to be fair, but my graphics card is like non-existent as I've said many times before. And recording takes a huge toll on my performance because of my terrible graphics card. And most people who watch, are watching this video also have a terrible graphics card. So. Yeah, imagine this was all on recording at 1080p with 10,000 kilobits. All that stuff. I'm not even going to mention that because no one's going to understand that. And yeah, that w that's pretty much the ultimate guide as to how to improve your FPS um, while, while making your Minecraft look good and what's making your Minecraft look trash just to get as much FPS as you can possibly can. So if you enjoyed this video or it helped you out, leave a like, subscribe. I will make more videos like this, probably, most likely. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.